It's a comparison. What are we comparing? Something you guys asked for, actually. The AeroPress versus the Mini Presso. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and we're doing apples to oranges this time. This is not apples to apples. We're using the same coffee, and that's where it's apples to apples. We are brewing up the, we ground up some of the static um, Raven's Dark Roast here. So we're trying that out today. We're gonna make it as an espresso shot, and this makes it with hot water, you are the pressure, makes a shot. The AeroPress makes a cup of hot, strong black coffee. It's not like an espresso shot, but we're gonna compare the taste anyway, because you guys asked for it. All right, let's do it. AeroPress, the recipe, uh, it has a paper filter in here, by the way. The recipe on the packaging calls for two scoops. You, of course, you can vary this any way you want. I've used two scoops in the past, and it makes it pretty stout. You know I take it on vacation on occasion. Two scoops. Hot water. It's bubbling up. All the air is incorporated, or the water is incorporating into the coffee and the air. Four second stir is all you have to do with this. That's a good four seconds, if not more. Put the lid on, the strainer, put it over your cup, and press. You don't want to press too fast. Give it a nice slow press. Okay. As you can see, hot, black, strong coffee. No crema on the top whatsoever. All right. Now, this one, you have a little strainer in here where you put the Okay, we, we tried this out just to make sure everything was okay, and I, we didn't clean it out very good. I can see that. Pre-ground coffee, again, right here. You know what? It might be easier if I just pour the coffee in. Get it all over the place. And then you take that little scoop. You could use the scoop if you're out and about. <laughs> This little jobber. I'm just leveling it off now at this point. And you take the scoop, give it a little tamp. I want to wipe off any of the excess on the top, around the rim. Set it in here. Actually, you set it in here. You put your hot water in here. This is just a cup to drink out of if you're out there in the field. You know, are you camping? There you go. Put this on the bottom. Screw it on nice and tight. Yeah, I should put that. No, I can put it on this way. Screw this on nice and tight. Got it. Now this is a pump, and you could pump it into this. I'm gonna put it in the shot glass so you can see the cascading. And it's a pump about once every second. Come on. Here we go, I can feel it. And you're going to build muscles.
One more pump here. Maybe two. Okay, we got our shot of coffee. Shot of espresso. So, as you can see, there is the cascading effect in there. It's doing it as we speak. You have a true espresso here in that you have the crema with the cascading hot black coffee. Let's see. Taste test tells it all, right? Hot black strong coffee. Cascading's done. More like a shot of coffee or a shot of espresso. There, it, you, I mean, you can compare the two, but you can't compare them. They're two different types of coffee. Hot black strong coffee, and I would compare this quite a bit to a stovetop that you get in Italy or here in the United States, and this is more like a shot. I would say it's a not as full-bodied a shot that you're going to get out of a true espresso machine with the 15 bar pump and all that kind of stuff, but it's pretty darn good for espresso on the go. You just need the pre-ground if you don't have a grinder, you need hot water, and you'd be good to go. So, they're both good, they're just different. Apples and oranges, that's what I say. I'm gonna take my submarine and go take off. Go camping maybe, who knows? No, actually, I got more work to do around the office. Talk to you later, thanks for watching.